Hi, this is Matt Hill for T3. It's been a long couple of years for Sony Ericsson, but it's back from the wilderness with this, the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play, the long-mooted PlayStation phone. It's rocking Android and a 4-inch touchscreen, so it doesn't really stand out from the crowd, but what it does have are games and these, PlayStation buttons. But are they enough to justify the hype? We opened the box and tried out the five games that came with it to find out. Let's start with the only PlayStation certified game straight out of the box, which is Crash Bandicoot, the fun platformer of 15 years ago. Unfortunately, it's fun, but the graphics don't fill the screen with ugly black boxes down the side. Also, it hasn't aged well. This could be a problem, because while it's undoubtedly a PlayStation experience, it's a very, very old one. With the new NGP coming out later this year, which promising PS3 standard graphics, and the PSP currently doing a very good example of a PS2 graphics, the focus on PS1 games, as the PlayStation Suite is doing, seems very regressive when Apple and Android are bringing new games out to market of such quality. Next up is FIFA 10, not 11 unfortunately, but while it's faster than FIFA 11 on the iPhone as you'd expect, it's not quite rocking the 60 frames per second, much muted by Sony Ericsson's onboard processors. Also, the graphics are poor, and the controls so unresponsive we found it easier to use the touchscreen virtuous stick. Unfortunately, the screen slides around quite a lot on the sliders and therefore is far from ideal. Also, the battery life for gaming of five and a half hours seems slightly optimistic. Moving on to intergalactic shooter Star Battalion, which somehow took a mammoth two and a half minutes to go from app press to actual gaming. We spent ages pressing all of the buttons to jump past the stuttering loading screens. After much thumb bashing, we found a simple touch of the touchscreen would at least skip the relentless intros. Unfortunately, this wasn't flagged up to anyone anywhere. On to Bruce Lee Dragon Warrior. Now think of this as the Xperia Play's answer to Tekken. The graphics are certainly a step on from the likes of Crash Bandicoot, but the controls unfortunately are clumsy because this is an Android game and was not made for the PlayStation buttons. And finally, we have the much ported classic Sims 3, the cute and lovable cut-down version of the desktop classic on your mobile. A lot of the commands are very simple, but again, it doesn't really make the most of the PlayStation buttons. One for the kids and the grannies, but definitely not on our must-own list. So does it live up to the hype? Well, as advertised, there are more than 60 games available at launch for the Xperia Play, but unfortunately only six of these are PlayStation certified ones, with the rest being Android games with the buttons reconfigured. This lack of conformity means that the standard and speed of experience varies wildly, and that means that the name PlayStation Phone currently seems something of a misnomer.